Welcome to do-it-yourself prop packs uh, today for my first YouTube video ever on this subject matter. I'm going to uh, show you how to make the portal gun from Rick and Morty. And I'm going to show you how to do it for under six dollars. Uh, this is all stuff that you could either buy at the dollar store or you buy online lying around your house. You could do it even cheaper if you already have some of this stuff. Anyways, uh, materials needed. Uh, simply a uh, foam board from the Dollar Tree, one dollar. Uh, a couple LED lights, uh, those are dollar each, dollar store. You could actually do this with one if you want to get fancy and save yourself a dollar. Uh, some green clear bubble wands. These were a dollar as well. A uh, bag of these, you're only going to need three of these, but this whole thing was a uh, dollar. And uh, you can use all sorts of things for the handle. I picked this garden rake because I like the look of it. It's got this little thing that looks like a button on the top there, but you could also use paint brushes, uh, spatulas, all sorts of things. And uh, I'll show you. I actually already made a prototype, just a proof of concept. And um, looks pretty good to me. It's actually very rough, so this one's going to be a lot neater. But uh, it does work. Turn that on and uh, turn the lights on the bottom there. Look at that. It's got the little thingy there. But uh, I'm going to get started on that. So first things first, I'm going to need to cut out some sections. For that, you're going to need a ruler. You most likely already have one of these at home. And um, something to cut it with. You could use scissors if you want or a knife. I'm going to use an exacto knife. Let me get right to that. All right, as far as the measurements go, I did four inches wide and uh, six inches long. For the top and bottom, I'm going to cut those out off camera. Well, actually, I'll just show you a little trick here first. Keep the ruler like that. This this is going to ensure that you get a really good cut. Keep the ruler straight. And you just run your exacto knife down it. That way you don't have to worry about being messy like I was on my prototype. The same thing on this side. Hold it down tight so it doesn't move. And that is perfect. Look at that. Perfectly square. Alright, I'll cut out the rest of the pieces and get back to you. Alright, so I got the top and the bottom cut out. And now for the sides, I think on the other one I went about an inch, so I'll do the same. No, actually an inch and a half. I'm just marking it with my exacto blade instead of a pencil, but it's probably smarter to use a pencil. Alright, so you want to go six inches long, but then you want to actually, I'd say about six and a half inches, make a mark there. Because you're going to want the end piece here to be a little round. And to do the round part here, I'm just going to use a paint can. You can use any round object you have lying around. Kind of center it in the middle there. And hold that down. And just cut around. There we go. Another perfect cut. Here's my marker. Oh, I actually know it's is not as round as I would like, so I'm going to go back and trim off a little bit of the this corner here. Still using the edge of the can so it comes out nice. And perfect. If you need to, you can just shave off a bit there so it looks clean. Sometimes the paper on the poster board kind of gets in your way. It's all clean up for a little bit later. I'm going to do the other side now. Get back to you. All right, so I uh, cut out the other side, cleaned it up a little bit. I'll actually clean it up a little more later. And I also cut out a front panel, which I cut three holes into. You don't have to be uh, super clean with the holes because those are going to be covered up later. You'll see that. And I'm going to hold off on the back panel because I'm going to use that to uh, insert the electronics and such into. Okay, I'm going to want to start gluing these together. 
and let me see if my hot glue gun reaches far enough. I'm going to try and do this cleanly. At least cleaner than my last portal gun. And And it's pretty clean. I'm gonna wait a little while for that to dry. Actually, I can do the other side too. That's not gonna go anywhere. I was worried it might flop around a bit. By the way, this glue gun, also at the dollar store, glue sticks, also at the dollar store. Most people who are into crafts and that sort of thing already have that lying around. as well as X-Acto knives, but if you don't have X-Acto knives, just use scissors, it's not a big deal. All right, so it's on there pretty good. I actually dried a lot quicker than I thought it would. Okay, I am actually gonna glue this front panel on first, I think. And some glue. Make sure you get the side you want. I'm going to go with this side, it's a little bit cleaner looking. Oh, you may find you need to trim that a little bit. no avoiding it you're gonna have stringy hot glue mess all over this you just gotta pull it off I'm just gonna add a little extra and that's looking pretty good Okay, now these holes in the front, that's what these beads are for. Don't buy these at the craft store. They uh, cost you like five, six bucks at the craft store. Just go to the dollar store, the, they're the exact same thing. And they're only a dollar. I'm going to use a very small amount of hot glue for these because I don't want to obstruct light from coming through. The last uh, portal gun I made, I, actually, I used green marbles, but not a lot of light was coming through, so I'm trying these this time. Maybe it'll work a little better, or maybe it won't. I guess we'll find out. I think it's easier to put the glue onto the foam board rather than onto the marbles. And it's looking pretty good. And now we're also gonna wanna cut a hole in the top. And to do that, all right, first I'm going to want to take my little bubble wands, open them up. I'm gonna wanna go empty these and dry them off. All right, I got this all cleaned up and dried off. I'm going to put this right here. And I'm going to trace around it with my knife. And Try to aim inwards a little bit. It's not a bad idea to make it a little smaller than the actual tube 
That way it screws in really nicely. That was actually an accidental discovery when I tried doing this the first time. Originally I was just going to glue it on top of there. And I realized that if I utilize the screw cap portion of this bubble thing, I can just screw it on for, and I'll be able to take it off later on for easy maintenance if something goes wrong with the light that I put inside. Convenient. Cleaner. So uh, I got a hole there. The hole's not perfect, but it won't matter because I'm going to screw this in. And look at that, you can't even tell. It's it's seamless. Now I just got to glue that on. Actually, I'm going to wait to glue that on and put the electronics in first. That seems like a smarter move. All right, now for the handle, we're going to use this uh, dollar store garden rake. And all I actually need is the handle, so I'm going to smash this part off, like so. Alright, that's not as smashable as I thought, so I'm going to break it. There we go. And who knows, that might be good for some later project. I rarely throw anything away if I think I can use it again. Alright, so the handle. I'm just going to glue right in there. It's going to take a little while longer to dry than the uh, foam board for some reason. camera while I dries. All right, so that actually took quite a while to dry, but it's in there now. There we go, nice handle. Paint that white later. Uh, looks pretty, pretty good compared to the real handle on the shell. So now I think I'm going to put the electronics in. All right, for the dome light, I decided to use this clear green book light from the Dollar Tree. They had tons of these at every store I looked in, so I'm assuming they're probably in your store too, but I think Walmart sells them as well. They come in a variety of colors, but the green one is gonna do good for our purposes. Pull up a little safety tag. Hey, it works, look at that. Now, last time what I did is I smashed all the extra plastic off there and just what attached it to the handle. Want to do that again this time? Yeah, I think I will because that's too bulky otherwise. I'm going to smash all the little bits off here that I don't need. Be careful not to ruin the battery compartment. Pretty good. Yep. Alright, then I'm going to glue this to the underside. I think I'm going to want my thumb to be able to access it like that. Alright, I'm going to get right back to you. Alright, so I've decided instead of just bashing, it's going to be easier to just clip off the plastic. Look at that. How quick and easy that was. That way, I don't have to worry about accidentally breaking the case. I did actually crack the battery case a little bit, to my dismay. But I glued it back together, so it's no problem, really. All right, now, I need to insert a new glue stick in here. 
and I'm going to anyway, put it on that side. Take a lot of hot glue. And I'm just going to uh, attach that to the underside here. Looks ugly right now, but once I spray paint it and maybe cover it up with a little extra foam, it'll look pretty good. And it's going to take a little while to uh, stay, so to cool down. So I'm just going to turn off the camera for a moment. All right, check this out. I just realized I can actually make a little flap right here underneath the handle and just lift that up. Oh, hot glue's still a little hot. Lift that flap up a little bit there. I can wire this thing right underneath. Actually, I might need to make this just a little bit bigger. Actually, what the heck, I'm just going to completely cut that out and replace it with another piece of foam so it doesn't look all wrinkled. All right, I'm going to cut that out. I think it needs to be just a tad bit bigger. A little bit difficult because there's already hot glue under there. All right, Get that. I think that'll be big enough. Okay. That pops right in there. The wire is right underneath. I'll, I'll put a little piece of foam in there to cover that up. You won't even notice it later on. Unless you're looking really hard. And uh, let's try that again. Now I'm going to glue this back on. I noticed that as I was waiting for the hot glue to dry. Alright, now I'll get right back to you. They made, actually made another small opening right down here and I'll show you why in just a moment. You could actually do this project with just one LED. It'll light up both the globe and the front. But since it was only a dollar, I found at the dollar store this uh, little uh, light for the brim of your hat. It's got three little LEDs and uh, it's pretty small. It fits right in here. If you put it back far enough and glue it in there with a the button over that hole so you can actually turn it off and on. And it's gonna, it's just gonna make it look that much better. It's like going the extra mile. There we go. Want to angle that up just a little bit so it goes directly into the holes. Looks pretty good to me. Once that dries, I'll try turning it off and on. I'll wedge a little something underneath here just to make sure it stays at that angle while it's while the glue is drying. There we go. And while that's drying, I will uh, I'll go ahead and uh, show you how this is done. This is pretty simple here. Just thread the uh, light up through the globe. And you can do that as low or high as you want. Um, I kind of think it looks cool a little high, but if you need to, you can bend the wire and make it lower. If you don't like seeing the light, the actual light bulb. I think it looks kind of cool like that. And you just glue that on like the rest of it. Let me get the glue ready. Oh, hold on. Problem with my glue stick. I'm going to put a fresh one in there. There's a little blob of hot glue stuck to my glue stick so it wasn't working properly.
And that is just about perfect. I wasn't originally going to put some glue here, but I am now because I don't want it to be flush. And just a moment while it dries. Alright, while I was waiting for that to dry, I went ahead and I cut out a piece for the rear. And uh, now I'm just going to uh, bend it a little. There's a little no notch in there for the handle, obviously. I'm just going to bend it a little bit so that it fits. If you do this on the edge of the table and you do it carefully, you shouldn't have any noticeable creases on the side that matters. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Now, probably going to want to glue one side first and let it dry and then do the other side or else it's going to be a pain to actually hold on to. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, for the next step, uh, what you're going to want to do is cut out a red piece of plastic from, uh, you know, a Tupperware lid or something. You can buy these at the dollar store, too. But you probably already got them lying around, just like you probably already got a hot glue gun and you probably already got a pair of scissors. And you may even have paper lying around. You probably got some spare handles lying around. There's a ton of stuff in this project you can use that you probably already have. And I'm not going to go too crazy with this, I'm just going to Would have been smarter to do this before I glued the top on. But I do love making the job harder for myself. 
All right, I got lazy and I just took the piece of plastic from the other one I made because uh, I didn't want to have to cut out another stencil, but uh, it's pretty simple to do. I'm gonna unscrew this. Like I said, it would have been smarter to do this before I glue the top on, but since I didn't do that, I'm just gonna reach my finger in here, put a couple dabs of hot glue. And push that up until it dries. And I'll get back to you when that's dry. All right, and that's dry now, so you're just gonna to wanna to take your little piece of paper. I uh, cut that out with an X-Acto knife of a black piece of paper and just stick it right in there. Whoops, I guess it wasn't as dry as I thought it was. There we go, get that back up there. I'll clean that up in a minute. I'm going to need to clean up these little edges here. All right, so that's in there, but it looks uh, pretty terrible in my opinion, so uh, I might redo that later, but you get the general idea. Now, uh, pretty much all that's left is to clean it up a little bit and uh, spray paint it white. All right, so here we go. I took all the tape off. Uh, the handle is painted. I think it's looking pretty good for uh, five or six dollar prop. Uh, as you can see the lights all function. There's a little portal doohingies and a uh, globe on top here and uh, the little screen which uh, I might color a bit later on. Make it a little more red, a little more bright. But uh, there we have it. Good enough. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. If, if you have something you want to see me try to make, leave a comment. Thanks.